Hello everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41 and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yeah, I kind of lied about doing the boss in the last video, that really didn't happen. But, we did save all the monkeys and we're pretty much done with the Forest Temple because now, with their powers combined, they are Captain Monkey. No, they're not Captain Monkey, or nor are they Captain Planet. They will actually combine and form one Super Monkey. Like, think of all, like, like how the Power Rangers combine. That, this is kind of what they're doing. They're all combining and forming one giant monkey chain that we're going to use to swing across to the boss's lair. Giant monkey chain. Yes, because this is how the game works. And giant monkey chain. Go monkey chain. All right. Super effective. All right, let's see what we have in these uh, pots over there. We usually have good, usually good items in front of the boss door inside of pots. Let's see. Oh, a fairy, fairy, fairy. Hello, fairy. Um, I need to use the milk. We don't really need the milk anymore. I only have a red potion. The milk's kind of useless. The only good thing about the milk is you can use it twice, but I'd much rather have a fairy than a milk. Because, yeah, this guy, uh, a fairy kind of does what it does. In every Zelda game, uh, if you die, it'll actually revive you and give you eight hearts of health. Up to eight. Obviously, I only have three, so it's not just going to magically give me five hearts, even though that would be awesome totally kick-ass awesome can't let me do that star fox but it will let me fight a boss because this is a boss and this is the first boss of the legend of zelda twilight princess first real boss i mean we've had like some some climactic battles already but this is the first actual boss there's bombs everywhere that kind of gives you a little hint of what to do right off the bat but so far this room looks pretty ominous looks like not much is going on looks kind of boring if you ask me Oh uh, boy, it doesn't look very boring anymore. So this is the secret weapon. Oh jeez, it's twin plant heads. It's like naval piranha. But no, it's not. It's Diababa, the twilight parasite. Okay, so, oh god, oh no. Oh, just wasted the fairy. Wonderful, wonderful. That's a good one. Anyway. What I want to do is not do that. Basically what you want to do... No, no, no. Stop z target. Ow. That hurt. Okay, let's do this properly. Take out the boomerang. Target a bomb. Target the boss. Not fire. The boss will eat the bomb. The boss will explode. And then the boss will proceed. So, not difficult. Using my fairy prematurely was terrible. Because if I die, I have no life insurance anymore. So this is it. We're doing it live. Well, that was rather pathetic. <laughs> Probably the easiest boss in the game. That's it, folks. That was the Forest Temple in The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, I know it was a fun time, but, you know, all oh shit. What the hell? All right, here we go. Now this is a boss. Listen to that music. Epic. I don't think we can hurt these things with the sword. There's no more bombs anymore, so I'm pretty sure we're just going to dodge the two side-ons, or block. Uh, oh, something's happening. Hello, Mr. Monkey! Remember when I said we wouldn't see this guy again? I also lied about that. So this guy is actually going to help us out, because he's the man. He has bombs! So we're going to use the bombs to... Yeah, watch. This is pretty cool. We're going to target the monkey and then target a thing and we're gonna get the bomb from the monkey and then throw it in the thing oh explosions now we gotta wait for the monkey to come by with another bomb in the meantime we'll just keep dodging that okay yeah, target him yeah once you target him you don't have to worry about uh you know the fact that he's moving around as long as you target him once you're all set so now with both of those things gone the boss will show his true form i don't think you have to bomb the boss maybe you do I don't want to Z-target. If you Z-target, then you can't do this multiple thing. Kind of a shame. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, that's gotta hurt. Aha! Die! 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 I love how the music in this game gets all, like, heroic and whatnot. Oh, this, this crap again. Oh, acid. Acid is super effective. Crap. Acid is super effective. Not good. Where's that monkey? Made a heart. Damn it. Luckily, there's pots with hearts around, so. Right. Targeting. Target you. Target you. And grab the bomb from you. And. 
<laughs> I don't think that worked. I think the bomb was too far away, or I hit a wall or something. Something went wrong. Okay, bomb. God. Do it. Oh, hit the guy. Hit the main guy. Alright, I didn't know you could do that. Awesome! I'll do it any I'll do it anyway. There we go, that might have been a shortcut. That might have just been something I could have done all along and not take out those guys on the side. But that thing looks like it's in a world of hurt right now. Oh yeah, you can tell by the heroic music. It's drying out. Oh, that doesn't look good. You might want to get that checked. Your eyeball is not supposed to fall out of your socket. But that's it. Shing! Epic sword put away. Epic music. That's it. This dungeon is now actually over. Yeah, this poor little twilight plant couldn't stand up to the might of Link despite using... Oh, yeah, it burst into the twilight, too. The twilight that will be dispelled by the power of light. But no, it will actually give us something. It's a thing. I don't know what this thing is, but it's a thing. And a thing that glows, and that's very important that a boss had it. It must be an important thing. Well done. Okay, that's what I was looking for. That is a fused shadow. Okay, so fused shadows are what we're looking for. It's what the light spirits call the dark power. We have to match the power of the king of shadows. So according to Midna, uh, we pretty much just have to fight fire with fire at this point. The kingdom was taken over by darkness, so we have to use the power of darkness to retake the, king the kingdom of light. Sounds a little shady, no pun intended, but... I guess we have no other choice at this point. I mean, our life, we have a life debt to Midna, so, whatever. So we have to find the other two. That is sort of the driving force behind the plot right now. Okay, let's pick up that heart container and then get the hell out of here. Yes, we can now finally increase our life to four hearts. Look at that, look at that mighty life here. All right, we're done here. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done here. Let's go, bub. And we'll teleport out in typical Twilight Princess style with black squares because this game is all about black squares. In case you didn't know, I'll save. I haven't saved in a while. Imagine if I lost all that, I have to do it all again. See, watch the playtime. Watch how it's like. Oh god, yeah, I would have lost over an hour of stuff. Not cool. But what is cool is this heroic, godlike music. Heroic Sir Eric. That's right. Heroic and Sir Master Professor Doctor. Do not think Hyrule is saved. I am aware that there are three pieces of the Fuse Shadow. We only have one. Leave these woods and go west. Protected by the spirit Elden. There you will find those you seek. And all of these lands lie in twilight. So yes, we do have to rinse and repeat the process all over again. We have to free the land of twilight, then go into the light world, and then go into the dungeon, and then get a few Shadow. That's how the beginning of the game is going to play out for the most part. Obviously... It would be a little monotonous and stupid, you know, if we had to do that over and over. So it does get a little interesting, don't worry. So we have to find the land covered in twilight. Once we do, shall help me out. Great. Thanks, Midna. You're ever so helpful, as always. All right. So it looks like we have to get out of here. I think, I think we're done in Farron Woods and Ordon Village. Like, it, is this for real? We're actually done? Aw, that's disappointing. Can't even use my horse. Nothing. Alright, well this is it. It's time to get out of here because I am totally done with this stupid forest crap. Uh, let us go out and explore bigger and better things. Let's get out of this place. Oh, first, you know what I do want to do first? Is fill up my lantern because I need to. Yeah, I, I will do that. I will fill uh, the lantern first. Yeah, do that. Go ahead and do that. Thank you. That was very kind of you. I do not have an empty bottle, which is kind of a pain, but that's all right. Not a big deal. I uh, may as well put our fishing rod there. Cool stuff. So that's it. It's, it's time to go on an epic adventure out of Ordon Village, out of Faron Woods. We are going to Hyrule Field. You can hear it. You know this is the grand overworld. Listen to that music. I love this music so much. It's so heroic. It's so cool. Um, I know there's a common criticism of Twilight Princess in that its music is a little weak because they do use MIDI tracks for the most part and not like high quality stuff, but that might be because they're comparing it to like Super Mario Galaxy or something. I know it didn't get equal treatment as that, but listen to this. This is awesome. I love this song. But yeah, Hyrule does not look like a very good, 
you know, like it's in very good shape right now. It looks like it's covered in twilight. Look at that sky. It does not look promising at all. So anyway, you can see, look at our mini-map down here. Look how small it is. By the time we get, like, midway through this game, it's going to be, like, a whole huge corner. So there is a lot to explore in the land of Hyrule. But for now, we are going to uh, do actually what we have to do. We're not really going to venture off the beaten path too much, but there is one thing that we do have to get. Uh, but before we do, we're continue going the normal route that we're supposed to go. Yes, listen to that music. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay. So let's see. I believe up here... What is up here? Oh, this is the dart path that I was supposed to follow, but just kind of, you know, kind of did. Alright. Uh, there is actually something we can get up here. I'll try to remember where it is, because remembering where things are is not good. Not a very strong point of mine. But it is in, like, a random tree. Not random, but uh, I have to remember where it is, because it's going to be kind of difficult for me to find it. It's a heart piece that I'm looking for, by the way. And it's in a heart. It's in a random tree. So let's see if I can find it on the first try. I don't know if I can find it on the first try or not, but we'll see. For now, let's just walk. Look at how epic this is. This is awesome. Look at that stupid guy. I don't really need to kill them. There's really no point in killing them. This thing up here. Ah, oh, there it is. There we go. I got a piece of heart. I found it. Awesome. All right, let's continue. That took longer than it should have. I should have known where that was. I should have came prepared, but I didn't. Because that's the nature of Let's Plays. They're spontaneous and fun and full of surprises. Like this. You didn't know I was going to do this, did you? Aha. You did not know I was going to do that. What if I just randomly decide to do this? Fish. You didn't know I was going to do that, did you? Die. All right. Enough joking around. We have a quest to undergo. So let us continue into the... Oh, hey. Uh, uh, um, I need an adult. I need an adult. I don't know what is going on. Oh. I thought I'd deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. So, this guy is the postman. He is wearing underwear and a short sleeve shirt. Like, muscle shirt. I I'm kind of afraid. Like, I'm not going to lie. This is a little weird, a little creepy, but whatever. On to delivering mail as he continues to run. It's kind of like the marathon man, but whatever. I don't, I don't, I'm not even going to question it. Let's just read this letter. Uh, post office notice. I will approach you at high speed. Please do not flee. Well, if you don't change your outfit, then there's a high probability that I'm probably going to run away. But, jeez. I don't know why they they design, like, such weird characters, but... Whatever, I didn't make the game, so don't yell at me. All I know is that there's a giant wall of twilight here. It's much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is. Yes, I know what this is. We've been through this twice already. So, yeah. Uh... Pretty much, once we go through here, she always warns you that, you know, you might not be able to be human form for a while. Actually, she might stay right here. Are you sure you still want to go in? I'm like, yes, I'm sure. I went all the way out here. Imagine if you went all the way out and you're like, no. Why the hell would I want to go in? Yes. I do want you to let me into the twilight. That would be most helpful. Oh, God. Oh, no. Does it always have to be with that stupid, violent, grabbing hand thing? Like, what the hell? You can't just, like open a door and be like, hey, come on in. Like, why is it so violent? Anyway, so we're in the Twilight Realm yet again as a human. Oh, that didn't last long. <laughs> that would have been pretty. A plot twist. We're actually a human. Uh, the plot would have just turned to shit right there. But anyway. Uh, yeah. So we're back in the Twilight Realm. We're back with the same music, which is really my only complaint about the Twilight Realm because it looks pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to continue this way and look at this plants die look at how cool the sky looks and everything oh but what's this a sword in the ground with smoke coming out of it ah well see another useful useful feature of the wolf is you can actually sniff certain updates tallow's stick thing you can smell mallow and tallow and Ilya and colin all the bitches you can smell them all <laughs> gotta smell them all uh, so, yeah, another useful function of the wolf is that he can actually pick up scents, as dogs can. And using your senses, you can track the scent. Uh, we have to do this quite a few times in this game. So, you know, through like a big open area like this, like if you were to just explore, you would have no idea where to go. So, just because this, this is a huge area. 
Oh. <laughs> oh, hi. So just uh, track the scent and you'll eventually find out where to go. Look at that. That was, that was, what was that? That was a joke. That was a joke. I'm pretty sure Twilight Beasts, at least after, after this next major area, are kind of a joke. But anyway. We've reached a conundrum. What is this that's strange? There's no bridge. And I need a bridge to cross because apparently Midna can't do that strange teleporting thing. But whatever. The yellow arrow marks where you are. So this is going to give us a little tutorial about teleporting. Because remember those portals that we opened up when we fought all the shadow beasts? Those will actually function as warp points that we can warp to and from once we're a wolf. Uh, so pretty much she's going to tell us to warp to one of those portals and find something that can be used as a bridge. Because, like, clearly we can't just jump across using some weird twilight power. We need a bridge, apparently. So, I'm going to walk to North Farron Woods, because that's where the bridge is. <laughs> I mean, you could guess. I mean, just guess one of the two. It's not that hard. Uh, see, I told you, we're here. The magic of twilight. It's your job to look for a bridge. Look hard. Hey, there's one. <laughs> well, that was easy. So yeah, there's this big, conveniently placed wooden bridge-like thing, just kind of chilling against the wall. And we're going to put it in Farron Woods. No, we're not. We're going to put it in there. Kakariko Gorge. Hey, that's the name of it. That's a familiar name, isn't it? So it's kind of interesting here how the Wii version is flipped from the GameCube version, in that Kakariko Village and stuff is usually on the right of Hyrule Castle, but now it's on the left. I mean, if you're looking at Hyrule Castle, it's on the right. So the geography of Zelda kind of got screwed up a little bit in Twilight Princess in that in the Wii version anyway, and that everything's flipped. But get over it; it's not that big a deal. <laughs> I know there's like angry Zelda fans, but whatever. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we can't get across that because we have we have absolutely no way of teleporting across that or doing some other stupid magic thing. But look at this; how convenient! It fits perfectly. No construction required. No assembly required. Just put it in and it's good to go. Excellent. See, just as I thought. Hee <laughs> So, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Yeah, sure, it's amazing. Whatever. I'm not going to stroke your ego anymore. Okay, so, I think that's about it for this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We're going to save, and next time we're going to explore the Twilight Realm a little bit more. See you then. Ciao.